How do you dismantle a 49-ton rudder from a 50,000-ton cargo ship underwater? This cargo ship hit a reef off the coast of Brazil while transporting iron ore to China, causing the rudder to deform and making it unable to sail. To facilitate repairs, it took the crew a week to tow the ship. into a deep water port. Since the cargo couldn't be unloaded, the ship's draft was deeper, preventing it from being taken to a dry dock for repairs. Therefore, the repair team had to dive underwater to dismantle the 49-ton rudder. After discussing their strategy, they began the operation, which was expected to take about four days. Every extra day, the ship stayed there. The owner would incur significant costs, likely losing money on this trip. Due to the need for prolonged underwater work, their diving gear was connected to an oxygen supply via hoses, eliminating the need to change tanks and greatly improving efficiency. Once suited up, the divers plunged in. At a depth of 20 meters, they saw the massive rudder, resembling a sea monster, standing 10 meters tall, like a three-story building. The bottom of the rudder was severely deformed from the impact. First, they needed to weld metal pieces to secure cables to the rudder. With 30 pounds of gear, the divers had to kick hard to stay stable without footing. After welding, they began dismantling the massive rudder. The diver was cutting the rudder underwater because they needed to remove the 50-ton rudder for repairs. First, they had to make a hole in the rudder to unscrew the bolts inside, requiring them to cut through a six-meter steel plate. After two hours, they had only cut a one-meter hole. As night fell, the foreman decided to use their ultimate tool, a super-hot welding rod capable of reaching 10,000 degrees, quickly cutting through thick steel. Underwater welding is extremely dangerous, with the risk of electric shock. Even in the U.S., this job pays a high salary, tempting many. Using the super-hot rod, the cutting speed increased, finishing in half an hour. The next day, the ship owner requested... maintenance on the ship's propeller, a rare opportunity. They needed to polish the massive propeller without support, making it hard for the divers to balance. It took two hours to finish polishing the propeller, leaving the divers exhausted. Now the crew needed to install three winches on the rudder to secure it for removal. Each winch weighed 10 kilograms and could lift 20 tons. With the ship's crane, they safely lowered the winch into the water. However, the rudder's main shaft was deformed from the collision. The worst case scenario was cutting the shaft, which would waste time, as special tools from the US would take a day to arrive. The ship owner wouldn't agree, so the repair team devised a clever plan. The 50,000 ton cargo ship's rudder was stuck due to the deformed shaft. The team planned to place a steel pipe between the rudder and shaft then use a 450-ton jack to apply pressure, pushing the rudder down. They measured and crafted a suitable steel pipe, then used a crane to secure it before applying pressure with the jack. As they increased the pressure to 30 tons, crew members rushed over, saying the entire steering system inside the ship had moved up four or five centimeters. This meant the rudder hadn't been pushed down but had lifted the internal steering system. Fortunately, it wasn't... damaged, avoiding a major issue. The last option was to cut the rudder's main shaft. They needed special tools from the US to cut the shaft. The next day, the tool arrived, a custom hydraulic cutter with diamond blades. Even with this powerful tool, it took 17 hours to completely cut the shaft. Now, the diver took control, slowly lowering the 50-ton rudder with the winch. This process was extremely dangerous for the diver because if the chains securing the rudder broke, the diver could sink with the massive rudder into the deep sea. Fortunately, no accidents occurred. They used four large airbags to secure the rudder, inflating them to float the rudder to the crane's lifting point. Then, they hoisted the rudder onto a barge. Finally, with the help of two cranes, the rudder was safely placed on the barge and sent for repairs. Thank you for watching. Remember to follow us.